today's Thursday thinks it's all about how I wrote an article <clears throat> oh excuse me I wrote an article for a magazine so hello everybody those who haven't met me before my name's Mary Ann and I'm the founder of Naturally Willa which is a source of information to help you to heal your horse mind body and soul naturally so my Thursday thinks where I talk about a certain subject and give you my opinions. They're only my opinions. You're entitled to your own ones. It's just to give you an idea of perhaps an alternative. But today, I am so excited to tell you all about this because I know that you've probably seen it on the social medias, but I wrote an article for the Barefoot Horse magazine. And I am so proud of myself. It's something that is usually beyond my comfort zone and it took me months to write and I do mean months <laughs> probably about four months overall for me to write the damn thing because I just I knew I wanted to write it and it was something that I felt was exactly where I needed to go but I was in my own way about writing it so as soon as I decided that I wanted to write an article Barefoot Horse magazine was exactly where I went. I was like, this is my kind of people, people that will want to see this information, want to hear this information. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to write to or send an email to Barefoot Horse magazine and say, look, I'd like to write an article for you. These are my thoughts. Is it something that you'd be happy to have in your magazine? And I had an immediate, yeah, that sounds amazing. You know, I'd, I'd been back through all of the previous issues because I've got the subscription where you can see all of them and you can download them as many times as you like. Uh, if you're going to subscribe, I suggest you go with that because there's so much information in the past issues that it's absolutely worth checking all of them out. So I did my research. I went through all of the magazines to see whether there had been um, articles about what I wanted to write. And there's, there's a few similar things, but they were like two, three years ago. So I was like, I'm aware of this. What do you think? Is it too close? Is it too much? Would you like me to choose a different subject? Are you interested in me writing for you? Because obviously it would be me connecting what I do with them. So it sort of creates a business relationship in a sort of way. You know, they're associated with what I'm doing and not what I'm doing is associated with what they're doing. So you need to check these things out. So I, I did and they were really, really happy, you know, saying, yeah, we'd really like to have an article on, on this subject. So go for it, write it. Um, they didn't limit me in any way on number of words, number of pages, at all, nothing. They just said, go for it, be as creative as you like, see how much you come up with. And it ended up being three pages long. <laughs> now, most people, when they write the first article, they say like a page and they're like, yay. I, I got a bit overexcited and write, wrote loads and loads and loads. But you know what? It was absolutely perfect. And when I submitted, finally submitted it, when I finally written it, I was just so, so happy. You know what? Actually writing it, most of it came out in one go. <laughs> I, I put it off and I put it off and I put it off and I was like, no, no, I just can't. I can't figure it out. It just won't come out of my brain onto the paper. And then one evening, I, I was just, it just flowed and I was just typing, 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 typing. And I was like, well, there's that. And I think I spent a good month or two just going through it again and again and again and changing bits and seeing bits where I was a bit, just a bit over the top and making sure that it was authentically me and that what I wanted to portray was coming over in the right way to portray my journey, my story in the right way and making sure that I'm not saying something that I shouldn't because it's just so so easy sometimes to be overly opinionated so I was watching what I was saying and, and making sure that there was opinion with without making it too forceful because nobody likes that they're, they're somebody else's opinion shoved down their throat so I was like yes I found the balance I found the balance I submitted it and I was like ha oh, that's it I'm done and then I got a message saying um you got any photos? Like, photos? 
photos? You want photos? Oh no! <laughs> so I go through my phone where I've got like thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures of my horses because what else am I going to have my phone for really? It's, it's there to take pictures of the horses. I am my own crazy paparazzi photographer for my horses. So I went through and I was like, there's a few here, there's a few here, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then I was like, mm, I'm not entirely happy with all these photos, so I'll take some more. <laughs> because why not, why not? You know, a thousand photos, there's not enough to choose from that. So I took a load more and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm happier with these. It it shows what I want to show. And um, I sent them off and I think I sent about 15 and I think they chose about nine of them or something. And I was, you know, I was really, really happy with the ones that they chose. And I think they've done an amazing job. They sent it off to the designer who obviously set out the layout and sorted out the colour format for my article as well, which, again, I'm happy with because it's so, I want to say earthy, but I don't think earthy is the right word. But it's, you know, it's greens and they're not over the top greens they're, they're they're like natural greens and i'm just like yes this is exactly what i want to see and then i had another message come back to me and they're like um by the way do you have any captions for your <laughs> for your photos oh no <laughs> you want captions for my photos too um brain <laughs> help <laughs> I was like, no, no, you can't. So I went flitting back through a few of the issues. And I was like, right, how long do people make them? What do they put in them? Are, are they funny captions? Are they just stating the obvious? Or So I figured it out. I was like, okay, okay, I can do this. I can do captions to go with the photos to go into my article in a magazine. <laughs> and I did. And I was like, some of them are very simple. Some of them are a bit longer. And I think... That they work out really really well so again i was so happy with how they'd formatted everything and put everything together it's just absolutely perfect and then about i don't know a, a few days before the digital print went out i got a message an email from them saying um this is the mock-up are you happy with it and i was like i am so surprised i thought it would just be a case of We've put, we've put your article in the magazine, we've used your photos, we've used your captions. Everything else is up to us. But no, they wanted input to make sure that I was happy with how the article looked, the colour scheme, the placements of the photos, the, the captions. Was, was I happy with it all? I was like, wow, you've really given me a lot of input. And that was just so amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it was really such a positive experience for writing for them, not only writing for them, but also having everything laid out and having such input and opinion asked for throughout was just absolutely amazing. So of course I've written another article for them, which I submitted to them, I think two or three days after my last article came out. I was like, you go, have another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh and by the way here's the photos let me know we need the captions i know how this works now and you know what it is something that i am going to relish doing because it just let my creative side out it let me tell a little bit of my story which sometimes i think gets lost in some things like you see a picture of the major and i'm like oh look at him he's doing bloody bloody blah but it doesn't show sometimes why i find something so amazing sometimes the backstory is missing which means sometimes the contents talk context i think sometimes is lost so it just felt so good to put put that there and also my article is all about nettles and i love nettles they are so amazing and if you want to know why you can check out my latest youtube video which came out yesterday which is all about nettles and you sh the hard work that i put into that video is beyond anything that i've done so far it took me days of editing i was up until half two in the morning on one occasion because i was just so focused on getting it done so that 
it would look how I want it to look. And even now, it's still not entirely perfect for my eyes. But I reached a point and I was like, this is, I'm going to be okay with this. Because I've never put that much effort into a video before. So I hope you're all going to check that out. But in the meantime, my article about nettles was just, it's almost like a love letter. And it was just so amazing to write. And as I say, it was such a great experience that I now know why some people are so regular writers for this magazine. And I am looking so forward to all the others that I've got planned to write for them because I have now got a plan to keep writing articles for this amazing magazine. So I hope you are all subscribed. If you are, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know if you are a subscriber to this magazine because it's so amazing. If you're not subscribed, I suggest thinking about it because it's just the information in it is absolutely amazing you've got some absolutely fabulous people doing some amazing things and coming up with different ways of doing things that you might never have thought of before using different equipment do, doing things with a different way of life it's just so eye uh, so eye-opening that it's just yeah absolutely amazing it's such a great experience to do and I feel such a great step in the right direction for me as I develop what I'm doing even further so that I can reach more people with the message that I have. And whilst my message is constantly developing to become deeper, more detailed, as I get to interact with more people with and talk to them about what they do with their own horses, because obviously what I do is what I do for my herd and it works for me. And whilst that's amazing i don't want to be one of those people that goes well this worked for the major so it has to work for your horse because it might not because your horse does things in a different way different personality different body type different way that it does things and not to mention you might keep those horses differently so i'm constantly developing and changing my way of doing things so that i can give you the roundest picture the the, the most clearest picture so that you can help your horse to heal mind body and soul naturally as best that you can so that's on me and that's why every time somebody says something I'm like oh keep me posted I'd love to hear about xyz or wow that's that's amazing thank you very much for giving me your opinion that really means a lot to me I'm not making fun of you I really am just taking it all in because I really am that interested in the way that other people do things, the other way people and their horses react to things, why they do what they do, why they experience things the way that they experience things. And if you're in the uh, Facebook group, um, you're more than welcome to ask any questions or give some sort of opinions, things like that. I actually encourage you to do so because I'm. we're all learning and it's just an amazing space to be in and it's completely safe I'm, I, nobody judges anybody in there because it's yeah anyway anyway i got sidetracked sidetracked <laughs> so as i say it took a lot for me to write this article and it was on such a subject that's close to my heart and nettles are absolutely amazing and it was so easy to write once i started and it's like anything else like everyone's always like you just need to start and it'll be fine like everybody says that or they do but even i still put stuff off and put stuff off like no not yet i'm not feeling it yet and whilst my intuition and guidance is just always just mind-blowing for me i always end up doing things at the right time it's still off-putting for me to go i don't want to yet like, why have you got that attitude? You know, the internal monologue starts running. But it was a case of once I started, I couldn't stop writing. And then once it had been written, I was like constantly going back in and changing things and amending things and going, oh, what about this? And oh, yeah, I, mean, I forgot about that. That happened. Or oh, maybe I can talk about the major in this situation, give somebody a working example. So I hope all of that has come across in the, in the article. I mean, it's three pages long. If I'd written any more, it would have been half a magazine. So I tried to keep it as succinct as possible, whilst also giving you 
as much information as I could without becoming preachy. You know, it was a really hard balance to strike. So I hope it all comes across all right in, in the article. But as I say, it took me a lot to get there, a lot to get there. But now that I've got over that obstacle, I'm flying. And the next article, as I say, is already written, already with them, already with their uh, design team to make sure that it ends up in the magazine. And yeah, so even if you want to write an article for Barefoot Horse magazine, I'm sure they'd love to hear from you because they're just amazing people that are so open to other ways of doing things. So I hope that you are subscribed because it's just absolutely amazing. And as I said in my Nettles video, plug there, <laughs> I am in issue 31. And hopefully I'll be in issue 32, 33, 34, 35, because I have so many article ideas that are inside my head that it will give, hopefully, you all a bit more backstory to my journey, my journey of discovering the various plants, herbs, everything that I now have trying to impart my knowledge of so that it comes over as around a picture rather than me just going, I picked some yarrow today. It's great for blood, blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, okay information great whereas now i can write right this is where i started this is where i went oh what the hell's that plant and what does that do and who who i tried it on who i offered it to and how i offered it to and what their reactions were and what element of which bit of what plant helped which horse which way you know there's so much detail going to be in there for you in me writing these articles so i really hope that you read them <laughs> and that you hope i hope that you enjoy them as well so if you do i'd love to hear from you and if you try out any of the things that i do write in the articles i'd love for you to let me know and what your horse's interactions are i absolutely love hearing what people have to say and their experience with things and what their opinions are because i say i i do things my way and that's the only way that I know because it's the way I do things I never do things the way everybody else does just because I'm, I'm me <laughs> right so it's a three day it's three three page spread just past halfway somewhere near the Jamie Jackson article which I and just yeah Jamie Jackson is an absolutely amazing person so I hope that you are all subscribed to this amazing magazine if you're not you're contemplating it and i think that's me for today so i hope that you've all enjoyed listening to me for my thursday things i hope that you're all subscribed to this magazine i hope that you've all read my article in issue 31 if you haven't please go and read it and it will be in i'll be writing more future articles as well so keep an eye out for those so Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you all next week for my next Thursday Thinks, which will be all about are we right to be calling our the animals in our lives pets? Something that has been brought up by Neil Fitzpatrick, who is the super vet. So I'll be talking about all that next week, so I will see you all then. Thanks, everybody. Bye.